We're gonna continue to follow the story, but I wanted to give you an update and let you guys know about, about the dream. But since we're talking about the dream and, and his connection to Beyonce and Jay-Z, let's talk about Rihanna. So Rihanna announced this week that she is launching a hair care line, okay? Here we go now. <laughs> So if you follow me on TikTok, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been talking a lot about Fenty Hair yesterday. First off, I just want to say congratulations to uh, Rihanna and Fenty Hair will be available on June 13th, June 13th, Fenty Hair will be available. All right. But a lot of people, when she announced this, they started making comparisons to Beyonce because, as you know, Beyonce just announced Sacred, a, a hair care line that she's been working on for years as well. So there have been a lot of comparisons to it. And they're like, you know, people making jokes about it. And I, I just want to preface this conversation by saying there are so many hair care lines out there and people are all doing well. We were talking about that with um, Stormy from Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's how we first got familiar with her. You guys pointed out like, oh, my God, that's Stormy. She, Stormy owns, you know, the Canvas Beauty and it's a, a huge business. Look at DeBrat's um, wife. Um, oh, damn. Judy. She just posted a video on social media showing she was like, I bought this particular um, place when I first started. Then we bought this other particular um, uh, spot which was right next door, that became our warehouse. Then she ended the video by saying, then I bought this entire area. Basically, she bought the block. This video is for inspirational purposes only. That used to be Kaleidoscope Hair Studio. That used to be Kaleidoscope's warehouse. This entire thing, this entire building, I own it. Also, another hair care line, Kaleidoscope. All of these businesses can exist and everyone can make money. Everyone can make money. But then people were saying, Rihanna, if you're starting a hair care line, why are you wearing a wig? Why are you wearing a wig? So there was some confusion because I was like, well, no, clearly, if you look at the um, if you look at the videos, it looks like it's actual products that you're going to be getting like conditioners, you know, uh, shampoos and, and things like that. As I was watching and doing some more investigation. <laughs> as I was doing more investigation. I think Fenty Hair is going to include not just, you know, conditioners and, and hair products. Sidebar, you can use, of course, you know, depending on your wigs, hair care products on your wigs to clean and wash and do all those things. However, based off the video that I saw, there were wigs. It looked like wigs in there as well. So she might be having some, some wigs and some hair care products. I guess we won't really officially know until June 13th. Until June, you don't like, y'all don't like her, her wig in this one? <laughs> but for, here's the thing, when they, and everyone was making comparisons to Rihanna and um, Beyonce. For me, it makes complete sense for Rihanna to come out with hair care. Beyonce coming out with hair care, we didn't see that coming. But Rihanna has been in this beauty brand for years now, dominating this beauty brand. It's made her a billionaire, this beauty brand. So for me, it made complete sense. The makeup, then she launched the skincare, and now she's launching hair care. It makes complete sense. It makes complete sense. But like I said, both can exist. Shay says um, Sacred came out in travel sizes today. Great way to check out products without big investment. Say, look at you guys helping each other. Also, speaking of lines, someone just said Taraji has a line. Our girl, um, um, Tracy Ellis Ross, she's been working on her hair care line for years. She launched that a couple of years ago called Pattern. Why do I know this much about hair and I have none? 
sidebar, someone in, in, in on my Instagram were like, oh, why is a bald man talking about um, women's hair? Move your dirty blood clot, your bad minded witch, Afro, your wicked demonic serpent, yo. Mind you, if you actually, and this is the thing, people read headlines or they, that's all they see. They don't actually listen to a video. I literally make sense. I make fun of my, of me talking about, about this topic, not having hair. But I can talk about whatever I want. <laughs> Rhonda says, listen, Taraji, Tracy, Tia all have hair, um, hair lines. These, there's room for all. I didn't know Tia had one. I didn't know Tia had one. Anyways. Uh, Samara says, I'm rooting for everyone black. Go ladies. All right. Oh, Latasha says, I want the pattern beauty curling wand. I know nothing of any of what you guys are talking about. But look, we're helping each other. We're helping each other because these lines, for those that didn't even know about, are probably going to go try them out and be like, this works for me. This works for me. Yeah, Natasha says that uh, Tia Maori has a hair care line as also. And she also has a reality show. She also has a reality show coming up. Following her, you know, new life. Okay. Ooh. Leah says, my Soror from Tuskegee is the product developer for Pattern Beauty. I love this. I love this. Gabby Union has one too? Oh, yes, I forgot. I remember when she was doing the promo for that. Oh, of course, Tisha. Who could forget? Who could forget? Um, Tisha says, let's not forget that Kenya Moore hair care. The band scene is forever in my memory. Here's the thing. And Kenya is going to be filming the grand opening of Kenya Moore hair care on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Literally, she posted on her Instagram account about, about the, the event, inviting people and letting people know it's going to be filmed. Sidebar, speaking of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, there were rumors that Ming Lee was going to be on the show. And apparently, based off of Bravo's announcement, she wasn't an official peach holder or friend of. However, it looks like she's still filming. So who knows? She might be a guest. She might be a guest. All right. All right. Um, let me say thank you, Chocolate Soul. Thank you so much for the super chat. Chocolate Soul says, I think Beyonce did the line for her mother, who still currently has a hair salon and still may do a head or two. Oh, yeah. At least we know Beyonce definitely has a passion for hair. We know the people around her and the people that are involved, like her mom, are definitely, definitely passionate about hair. Her mom was definitely very much involved in sacred. Okay. So shout out to all the black women doing it in hair care. Be, uh, again, Fenty Hair will be in... I think in stores or at least available on June 13th. Here we go now.